Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing great out there. Uh, we got some really fun drills for you guys today. Um, before class started, I wanted to show you guys how to get set up for class so you can get prepared and then you don't have any interruptions during the, the, the class. So, um, as always, you guys, if you can't do this kind of setup, don't worry. Okay, I got you covered. I'm going to show you how you can do all this stuff without this. So, um, if you remember from the axe kick drills from a few days ago, how we had like a, like a beam or even like a tree branch, if you got one in your backyard, you know, you're going to hang your belt up. So the belt, just the tips of the belt are hanging out here. Again, we want to avoid having that loop because when you do that axe kick, you accidentally kick that, you know, that can, that can be a big trouble. Okay, the second thing you're gonna need is um, some kind of a rope. Okay, a rope, a string, you can even, you know, string your belt across. You wanna have it set up about, you know, ear level, between the ear and the, the chin, okay? Um, we're gonna be doing some, some uh, sparring drills, some boxing drills, where we have to go under the rope like this. Okay, so don't set it too low. Um, where you know it's going to be difficult to get down and don't have it too high where you don't have to duck at all. So um, again, get creative, do what you guys can to get a similar setup for things like this in today's class. And if you can't do any of this, okay, you got nothing like this, don't worry. Okay, I got you guys covered. You're still going to be able to follow along and do all the drills today. Okay, so hit pause if you need to, get yourself ready, and let's get started. Hey everyone, we're going to get started with your warm-up. Um, what we're doing is we're doing 30 second rounds of different uh, exercises. We're going to start off today with jumping jacks. So your goal is to go the entire 30 seconds without stopping. Follow along with me. I'm going to have a little timer here. Ready, begin. Next exercise we're gonna do is called a trunk twist. So what you're doing is you're turning your hips side to side. Notice how my belt is facing the side. Now it's facing the opposite side. And my arms are turning in the opposite direction as my hips. So I'm gonna be going like this. Okay, so we're gonna put 30 seconds on the clock. You guys follow along with me, trunk twist. Ready, begin. Turn those hips side to side. See how my belt is whipping back and forth. This gets those hips loosened up. Try to pick up the speed if you can. Good, okay guys, 30 seconds down. Now we're going to do a forwards and backwards slide. So in my fighting stance, I slide forwards once, backwards once. Let me give you a side view so you can see again. Again, I slide forwards, backwards. So notice how my feet, excuse me, my legs stay bent the whole time. We're going 30 seconds. Doesn't matter which leg you have in front, okay? Let me put 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, go. Slide forward, back, front. Back, just so I keep those hands up as I move. Those hands are never gonna drop. Protecting that head, not down here. We got them up high, like this. Back, if you wanna switch, switch. Do the other leg in front. Looking good, guys, keep it moving. We're not stopping this entire time. Forwards, back, forwards, back. Looking good, almost done, a few more seconds. Excellent work, guys.
Okay, everyone, so our last warm up drill here is a forwards backwards switch. Okay, so we're gonna go forwards, backwards, switch. Forwards, backwards, switch. Let me give you a side angle here real quick. Okay, again, I slide forwards once, back, switch. Forwards, back, switch. You guys know we got 30 seconds on the clock. Last one, let's really push it. Ready, begin. Forwards, back, switch. Forwards, back, switch. You know what to do now. Keep it moving, guys. Forward, back, switch. Forward, back, switch. Looking good. Okay, so I keep those hands and I'm not gonna drop them. Almost done, a few more seconds. Keep it moving. Last one. Excellent workout. Okay, let's begin with our stretches now. We're gonna be doing some uh, slightly different stretches as well as some of the, the ones you guys already know. Okay, we're gonna start with what's called a half squat. So you're gonna put your feet double shoulder width apart, squat down on one leg. You wanna bend that leg all the way down and you can rest your hands on the ground like this. Okay, notice how I have my toes pointed up. If you can, get your heel down on the ground, okay? Now from here, we're simply gonna to switch to the other side. We're gonna to switch to the opposite side. Hold this for a few seconds. Look where my hands are at. My hands, my arms are inside of my legs. I don't have this hand out here. I wanna bring this inside, okay? Let's go ahead and switch again. Very nice. We'll just hold this stretch for a few seconds, let those muscles loosen up. Okay, and again, switch. Okay guys, so next we're gonna go to the side splits. We're gonna straighten both legs out and slide our feet apart as far as we can, okay? Look how my legs are straight. I don't want those knees bending inward like this. If you want a, a deeper stretch, point those toes up like this. We're not gonna hold this very long today, guys. Just until those muscles loosen up a little bit. Get us ready for today's practice. Okay, that should be good. Now, this is the hard part, guys. We don't wanna crash, okay? Slowly walk your hands back. I'm gonna bring one hand, bring it behind, and I'm gonna slowly sit down. Now from here, just reach forwards as far as you can. Make sure you focus on your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. Each time you breathe out, you can go a little bit further. Okay, now let's reach over to the right side. Good, now switch sides. together. Just shake your legs out a little bit, get them nice and loose, and then bring them in for a butterfly stretch. Okay? Remember, we can grab the ankles and push down on our legs using our elbows here. Excellent, you guys. Let's have everyone go ahead and stand up. Okay, go into that fighting stance. Now, we're going to do our stretch kick. Um, with our hand out. This just gives us a target. Now we've been working on really keeping that head up. So I don't want to see anyone kicking it like this. Look at that hand, okay? And as you look at that hand, you're gonna kick that hand. Okay, with me, let's do 10. Ready, one. Look how my eyes stay up. Two, breathing on each kick. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, last one, 10. Good, switch feet. Again, head up, hand up, ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, guys, 10. Okay, guys, let's get started with the lesson.
Okay guys, let's get started with our rope drill. Now, this is uh, one of the classic boxing drills. You'll see this, you know, with, uh, boxing, kickboxing, martial arts. This is a drill that is really gonna help your sparring and it's gonna help you with your head movement. Okay, we've been talking a lot about head movement, you know, especially taking our head off the center line. If you're facing your opponent, you know, it's easy to hit the person right in front of you. But if you can learn to move that head, that's how you're gonna avoid a lot of those attacks. And that puts you in a good position to counterattack when necessary. So, the first thing we wanna do is just get in our fighting stance. Okay, notice how I have the, the rope. Okay, you guys might be a rope, might be a string, might be a belt, right next to your ear. Now, if you don't have any of this, okay, don't worry. You just have to imagine that you got that rope right there, okay? Um, and you can even imagine at home that it's, you know, it's electrified. So if you do touch it, you're gonna get a little shock. So we don't wanna touch this rope. The first thing I'm gonna do is simply step under, okay? Now when I step, if I'm going to my left, okay, I'm not gonna step with my right leg. That crossing my body up, that just looks weird, okay? I'm gonna step with my left leg. Now my head is simply gonna make like a little U and I pop up, okay? And then that other leg meets, comes over to the same side. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the right. Okay, so I'm gonna step, duck under, and step with the other foot. So there actually is two steps. It's step, under, step. Now look at my head. I'm not gonna duck my head down like this, okay? Because I take my eyes off my opponent. I wanna keep my eyes on my opponent. Okay, so again, step, under, like this. Now I'm gonna start to move the feet a little bit. So hopefully you guys are following along here. Just rock the feet. Okay, we're gonna go under and pop up. We're gonna go under. And this is the first drill. Just get used to this. Go under, good, and under, good. And we go to the right, so we step with the right. We go to the left, we step with the left. Step, 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 step. Step, step. So hopefully you guys again have this set up. If not, all you're doing is just imagining that rope is there and we're stepping under. Okay, look how I rock the feet. Step, step. Good, keeping them hands up. Step, step. I really like this drill because, you know, it gives me something to focus on. I'm focusing on this bag right here. That's where I keep my eyes at. That's my opponent. That's my imaginary opponent. I'm gonna keep my eyes on that. I'm not gonna drop that head down. I'm not gonna get distracted and look over here. I'm gonna keep my eyes on that, that, that. That's my opponent. Keep going, step, 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 good. A little quicker now, step, 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 looking good, keep the feet rocking, step, 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 step. Notice how my head makes that, that U shape. I'm gonna go down, up, down, up, good, make that. U shape, good, keep going guys, a little bit more. Step, 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 oh see, I hit that rope a little bit, I gotta get my head down, step, 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 step. Okay guys, that's the end of round one. Hit pause, if you need a little break, we're gonna come back and do some additional drills on the rope. Okay, everyone, now that we got the basics down, let's go to the next drill. Okay, so again, we're gonna start in that fighting stance. Notice how I'm starting on one end. So what I'm doing now is instead of going side to side, I'm going to the side, but I'm also going forwards. So I rock the feet and I wanna go forwards. Now, uh, let's do that one again. Let me back up here and let me come to this side. Now, when I go forwards, watch how I'm stepping. I'm not stepping, and notice how I switched feet. Okay, I wanna do this. I step to the side, and then my front leg is the one that goes forward. So I stay right leg back. Okay, I don't want to be constantly switching feet, because if I'm constantly switching feet, when I switch, let me face the camera here real quick. When I switch, notice how I open up my body, and that opens me up for an attack, okay? But if I move forwards, and I keep my stance sideways, I'm not exposing myself for an attack, and that's really important in sparring. So let's do this again. I step under. Now when I go under with that, that, uh, that back leg, that right leg, I'm not gonna switch my stance. I keep myself turned sideways. Again, step, 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 step. Let's go one more forward, step, steps. So now we gotta learn how to move backwards. So again, 
We're keeping our eyes on this target. We don't have to look where we're going. Okay, I'm gonna simply step back and drop under. Step back and drop under. Back and under. My body is always sideways. Okay, I'm not gonna turn like this. Keep that body sideways. Okay, we're gonna add a little rocking of the feet. Step, step. Good, step, step. Okay, now let's go forwards again. Step, step. Rocking the feet, step, step. Good, step, step. Step, step, let's go one more forwards, step. And now we're going backwards, keeping our eyes focused on that, that target in front of us. Again, step, step. Oh, I hit that rope again. Okay, good, step, step. We got room back, oh, okay, there's the back, good. And forward, step, step. Good, step, step, step. Step, 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 step. Oh, see, we can mix it up a little bit now. We can go, start going a little more. We're gonna do double this time. So we're gonna go step under and right back under. Again, under, under. Good, one more, under, under. Let's do that again going forward. So we're gonna go under and then back under, quick. Under, under, good again. Under, I just pop the head up. I don't make that second step. And then I come back under, one more time. Under, under, okay, back, again, under, under. Good, again, one, two, again, one, two, again, one, two, and one more, one, two. Okay, guys, good, that's the end of round two. Hit pause if you need to. Come back for round three in a minute. We're gonna start adding some punches now. Hey, everyone, let's get going with our punches now. So, um, so when we go under, so I'm gonna start over here on the, on the kind of the, the right side of the belt. As I come under, okay, you know, I'm gonna imagine that this rope now is my opponent. So it doesn't make sense that I punch with the right hand. That right hand is too close to my opponent. This left hand is perfect though. This left hand can come out here and throw that hook punch. So let's practice that, okay? So let's just practice the hook punch a few times. We're gonna come under. Notice how I keep my eyes on my opponent. I don't want to, you know, come out here where I'm blind and then I turn and look and oh, my opponent just hit me in the face. I want to have my eyes on them the whole time. So I come under, hook punch, okay, and then set. Okay, so now if we go to the other side, again, we go to the other side, if this is the opponent, you know, I can't really hit him with that left hand. The left hand's too close. Okay, but this left hand is great for shielding, so I'm going to have this shield up Boom, and throw a reverse punch this time, okay? So again, we're gonna go under, hook punch, under, reverse punch. Okay, notice how my body's staying sideways. Okay, I don't wanna open myself up like this. Again, under, hook, under, punch. Under, hook, and let's go backwards. Okay, I'm gonna go under, punch, under, hook. Under, punch, under, Hook, under, punch, under, hook, under, punch. We're going forwards again. Hook, punch, hook, punch, hook, punch. Okay, and I realize for some of you guys this may not be easy. Okay, I might be going a little faster for you. I've done this drill, you know, hundreds of times. So if there's any part you're having trouble with, you know, just focus on that. If you just simply want to work on, you know, you're having trouble getting under, work on that for a little bit. If you're having trouble moving forwards and backwards, do that. Okay? If you think you can follow along with the punches, do that, okay? Um, I'm gonna do a couple more sets with the punches. If you want to, follow along. Again, if you're having trouble, go back, rewatch one of the sections that you're having trouble with, okay? With me, guys, let's go forwards again. Ready, come under, hook. Punch, hook, punch, hook, backwards, punch, hook, punch, hook, punch, hook. Okay, so let's add some of the, the doubles, okay, where we go under, under, hook. Okay, now let's work on that reverse punch here. Okay, so I'm gonna be going backwards on this one. Under, under, punch. Under, under, punch. Okay, 
And let's do that punch going forwards now. So again, double under. Under, under, punch. Under, under, punch. One more. Under, under, punch. And let's go with that hook now, okay? So double under, hook with the lead hand. Under, under, hook. Okay guys, that's it around three. We got one more round coming for you guys. Um, and uh, hit pause if you need to, uh, get, take a little break, and we'll come back to that round four in a moment. Okay guys, round four. Okay. Uh, so round four, we're gonna be working on the uppercut. One of the punches that is probably used the least in sparring because it's hard to land. Uh, you know, it's hard to land that because people don't know when to throw it. It's a punch you're only gonna throw when you're in close. Okay, it's hard to throw it from really far away. Okay, so we're gonna work on setting this uppercut up. Okay, now, now say somebody throws a punch at you, a jab or a punch, we duck under that. Okay, this is the perfect time. You know, they're exposed to boom, coming with that uppercut. Okay, so let's do that again. Uh, I'm gonna step across. Now remember, this is our opponent now. We wanna make sure we're shielded here. So whatever hand is closest to the rope, you're shielding. Again, if you're doing this without the rope, you just gotta imagine that that rope is there, okay? So if I come out here and I shield with this hand, you know, my opponent could hit me right here. So I wanna have this hand up, and then with that lead hand, uppercut. Okay, notice when I throw that uppercut, I'm not, you know, doing this big cartoon punch, okay? I'm just throwing that, boom, with my legs. I pivot. Uppercut. Now I'm on this side of the belt, so I'm going to step across, shield, uppercut. Okay? And again, this rope is a good uh, target. I want to aim close to that rope. You know, my opponent's not out here, they're right here. Come under, shield with the arm that's closest to the rope, pivot, uppercut, return. Step, shield, up. Step, shield, up. Step, shield, up. Okay, now backwards, I'm gonna step, okay, step under, shield, up. Step under, shield, up. Notice how I'm breathing. Okay, forwards again. Okay guys, so that's your rope drill. Okay, hopefully you had fun with that. Hopefully you learned a lot. Um, you know, these are amazing drills. I like doing these things. It really helps with your footwork, your head movement, your combinations, and you know, getting used to sparring in close. You know, you're learning to, instead of backing away when someone attacks you, you know, you simply move your head a little bit and you're in a better position to attack. Okay, if you're always backing away in sparring, you know, yeah, you might not get hit, but you're not really gonna be in a position to hit your partner back, okay? Excellent work. Okay, everyone, let's get started with those axe kicks. So today our axe kick is gonna be a, a front leg, a lead leg axe kick, okay? So again, hopefully you got a setup like this, okay? Um, I hope you guys are able to get creative uh, with your setup. Uh, you know, put that belt up there. I just want the tips, you know, close to head level, um, like this. And again, if you don't have this, don't worry guys, just follow along. Okay, so that lead leg, that front leg axe kick, uh, we're gonna take that front leg, think of it kind of like a stretch kick. You're gonna bring that front leg up, you know, not straight up like that, okay? We have to bring it to the side of the target and down. If you imagine this is your opponent, you know, if you bring that leg straight up, you're kicking them. Okay, and that kick's not gonna work. We have to bring it around our opponent, above their head or shoulder. That's pretty much the only place you're gonna land this axe kick. You know, you can't really land it 
you know, try to aim for the stomach, it's just going to go down to the ground. Okay, so you have to bring it up over the head, okay, or the shoulder, and we'll aim that kick there. So let's take that front leg. We're going to bring that leg up, axe kick, and look how I land in front. Okay, so let's do that again. So I take that front leg, come up, axe kick, landing in front. Okay, let's do a couple more. We're ready, axe, land in front. Good, again. Make sure you're breathing out on that, that kick. Okay, again, ready, kick. Um, and again, if you guys don't have this set up, just start practicing the kick with me. Okay, we're gonna practice bringing that front leg up, and you may have to adjust this every once in a while. Okay, so again, that front leg, axe kick. And really work on pulling through the target. Don't let the leg just kind of drop. Okay, it's called an axe kick. If you imagine you got that axe and you're pulling down hard. Okay, the axe doesn't just fall like this. Same thing with your kick. Pull down hard on that kick. So we come up, axe kick. Now, um, just because you're pulling down hard on the kick doesn't mean you're going to slam the ground like that. If you listen to my kick, listen when my foot hits the ground. It's not making much noise because I, I slow the kick up. I hit those brakes. As I hit, right as I hit, I start putting those brakes on. And by the time my leg hits the ground, you know, it's pretty much stopped. So you got to have good brakes with this kick. If your leg just keeps going, you know, you're going to slam yourself on the floor and you're going to be off balance. Okay, let's do a couple more on this leg. Okay, ready? One, let's do five more. Okay, ready? Two. You can tell you got a good kick if that belt spins around a little bit. You're getting that, that, that uh, snap to that kick, that power. You're really pulling through. Ready? Three. Two more. Four. Last one. Five. Okay, guys. Good. Now we're going to switch legs. Let's do the other leg now. Okay. Ready? So my back's going to be turning. You guys kind of get a different angle with this kick. Okay. So let's take that front leg. We just want to get our, our distance, get our reach. That looks pretty good. Again, front leg comes up and down. Ready, three. We're gonna do 10 total on this leg. Ready, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And last one on this leg, guys, ready, 10. Okay guys, you get a little break, hit pause, come back in a few seconds. Okay guys, hope you're ready. Set number two. Okay, let's get that fighting stance. Doesn't matter which leg you start with, we're gonna be doing both legs anyway, 10 on each leg. Follow along with me, okay? Ready, one. Make sure you land in front. Two, three, breathing out. Four, five, Oh, I missed that one. I gotta work on my aim. Seven, eight, nine, last one, last one, last one, ten. Okay, guys, excellent. Switch feet. Okay, yeah, I gotta keep readjusting that. That's fine. Yeah, do that. No problem. Okay, you're ready. One. Oh, I missed that one. Two. Oh, I missed that one. Three. There we go. Four. Now I'm getting it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one on this leg, ten. Okay, guys, take pause, take a little break, come back in a, in a moment. Okay, guys, round number three. Let's get ready. Fighting stance. Okay, ready? Get that leg in front, get that stance. Ready? One. We're gonna go a little faster this time. Two, one kick out, kick next. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I missed that one. Eight, nine, ten. Switch feet. Good, adjust that belt. Let's do ten quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and last one, ten. Okay, guys, you're getting another little break here. Hit pause. All right, 
let's start working on our self-defense against the hook punch. So when you saw that hook, they're coming for our head, our jaw. We don't want to get hit by that. First thing we're going to do, we're actually going to step towards their attack. We want to move past their fist. So the first thing I'm going to do, I step forward. I'm going to block, grab their wrist, hammer fist, striking them in the forearm and the bicep. So let's do that again. I step forwards, block, hit. That's my first move. Let's do that again. Step, block, hammer. From here, I'm grabbing their wrist. They can't pull it away. Hammer fist. I'm hitting the side of their head, their temple. Ready position. Let's do that again. Step in, block, hammer, grab, extend to that back fist. Now from here, I'm going to shift, palm strike the ribs. We finish, we step away, knife hand middle. We're ready. This is a good defensive stance if they come at us again. So again, ready position. I step in, block, hammer, back fist, shift, palm, key up, step away, knife hand middle. So that one more time forwards, and then I'm going to show you from the back. So I step in, block hammer, back fist, shift palm, step away, knife hand in. So from the back, remember my first move, I'm stepping in towards their attack, block hammer. I grab, back fist, shift palm, step away, knife hand middle. Again, ready position. I'm going to do a little bit faster. Follow along. Block, hammer, back fist, palm, knife hand bit. One more time backwards, I'm going to go full speed. Go. Ha! And now let's pull in a partner here. So Mr. Fado is going to give me that hook punch. He's going to give it to me right here in my face. He attacks, I step in, hammer. I'm hitting him right here in the bicep, back fist to the temple, shift, hitting him right here in those exposed ribs, step away, knife hand middle. All right, guys, let's work on self-defense against the overhead attack. Somebody's coming at you, they're swinging down over the top, trying to hit you on the head. So first thing we want to do is not be here. So I'm going to step out to the side, guard, and chop. And now that guard, I'm not trying to stop the person's hand. I'm guiding it down so I can grab onto it. I can't pull that hand away. So let's do that again. Ready position. I step off, guard, chop. I grab the wrist. I'm going to bring my feet together, pull their arm down, arm work. I'm doing a push, pull. Their elbows right here on mine. Boom, I'm breaking their arm. Let's do that again. I step off, guard chop, feet come together, arm break. Now I'm going to step behind them. Their foot is here behind mine, elbow smash. I'm hitting them in the ribs with my side elbow. Let's do that again. Ready position. Step out, guard chop. Step together, arm break. Step behind, rib smash. Now I reach around, I still am holding on to their wrist here. I'm gonna push, pull, throw the person to the ground, ha! Punch him in the face. Let's do that again a little bit faster. So we step, guard chop, come together, arm break. Step behind, rib smash. Reach around, throw, pop. Good. Now let's look at that from this back side. In ready position. I step, guard, chop. Come together, arm break. Step behind, rib smash. Reach around, throw, pop. Let's do it again. Right here. Step, guard, chop. Together, arm break, behind, rib smash, throw, pop. 
let's pull in a partner here. I'm going to have Mr. Sassenfield. He's going to tap. Remember, if you don't have a partner, just practice it again in the air. So he's going to tap me. He's trying to hit me on top of the head. I step out, guard chuck, hitting him right here on the side of that neck. I'm grabbing his wrists. I come together, arm break. Don't actually break your partner's arms, but you know, make sure you're practicing the correct motion. I step behind, rig smash, reach around, I'm gonna bump, pull, push, throw him to the ground, I punch him in the face. Let's look at that again from this side. He's gonna attack me again, step, chomp, come together, arm break, step behind, rig smash, reach around, throw, All right, guys, let's work on self-defense number 12, choke against the wall. Now, if you got a wall, get on the wall. If you don't, you can also do this one in the air. You just gotta imagine you got that wall behind you. So I'm right here, my back is against the wall, they're choking me. First thing I'm gonna do is actually three moves in one. I'm gonna reach over, I'm grabbing the person's hand, not their wrist, I'm grabbing thumb to pinky. I'm gonna take my hand, I'm going to curl my first knuckles back, I'm going to panther strike, and I'm going to knee them in the stomach and the groin. All of that is move one. So let's do it slow again. Grab, panther strike, knee. We're going to do that all together. So as one move, grab, strike, knee. Now I'm going to step, pivot, I'm holding their hand still, this is gonna come on their shoulder. I push my opponent against the wall. Let's do those first two steps again. Grab, strike, knee, step, push. Now my right knee, my back knee, I knee the person in their back, stomp their knee, their ankle. I grab their head, I'm still holding onto their, their hand with this one. Triple head smash, one, two, three times, I'm knocking them into that wall. Let's do those parts again. Grab, strike me, step, push, knee, stomp, triple, head smash. And the last thing I'm gonna do, my left leg steps in, around, away, and with my right leg, I kick, I up, knife hand middle, you notice, I'm not worrying about this guy, I'm worrying about who's next. Let's do that one more time, and then I'm gonna pull in a part. So, grab, strike, knee, step, push, knee, stomp, triple, head smash. Step in, around, away, side kick, knife hand middle. Let's pull in a partner here. So I'm gonna have Mr. Satinfield coming in attack. Mr. Sadenfield's attacking me, my back is against that wall, he's choking me. First thing, I'm gonna grab his hand, strike his throat, and knee him in the groin. Remember, that's all one move. Let's do it a little quicker. Grab, strike me. Now I'm gonna step. My hand comes here on his shoulder, I push him against the wall. I'm holding on to his hand, not his wrist. His hand in here. Knee to the back, stomp the leg. Now, I grab his head. If you're doing this with a partner at home, don't you know, get a good fistful and slam them into the wall. Gently, I grab his head. One, two, three. I'm still getting the motion, but my partner's not getting hurt right now. Now I step in, around, away, Side kick, land knife hand in. 